Hopefully you guys just watched my last tutorial and you decided that you're excited about form validation. You guys are ready to learn about it. You're ready to figure out what it's about. And luckily for you, Dreamweaver has made it so easy. So uh, before we, we start diving into it, each individual uh, spry validation technique, we are going to take a look at the CSS behind all of the the pieces that are involved in formatting in this case a text field this is a uh, this is the exact same example from the last tutorial I just wanted to uh, show you guys how all the CSS powers the the coloring of the text and the size of the text and the borders and everything that is involved um, in the validation itself um, I want to do this before I go into all the other um, all the other techniques because basically the CSS is going to remain the same throughout um, throughout each individual technique so if you guys can get this in the beginning then down the road whenever I'm introducing you to uh, the validation of the checkboxes and the text area then you'll already have an understanding for how the CSS works and why all of this stuff works the way it does so let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and look at one thing before we do this in the last tutorial you saw messages um, for example whenever you entered a text box didn't fill anything out and then left the text box by, by leaving the text box I mean you clicked outside of the text box there was a message that popped up to the right that says a value is required and right here in the code is where you change that so I'm gonna change this to required and the other text that showed up for us was um, since this is an email and it has to be formatted in this specific email format if you typed something in that wasn't in that format then you would get a message to the right that said invalid format so here is where we change that there we go so let's just run that so you guys can uh, see that it works. I'm going to click inside, change the color, required. Okay. So I'm going to do a, a fail. Okay. There we go. So, um, actually let's run back through that. I want to make a few notes for you guys to check out uh, so we can we can move on and you guys can understand what I'm changing. Um, here we see when we clicked inside it changed to the yellow and when we click outside and don't type anything in that's required to change to the red and there's also this red color here and the other color that we see is green whenever everything is good to go so there we go so that was uh, three four different colors so now let's go look in the CSS of, of where that is um, I'm gonna click through um, each individual rule over here you can see that the spry validation text field .css has been linked in from an external file that was created in our last tutorial so I'm gonna run through each of these and you can see see there's this color red with the one pixel border that's the that's the CSS rule that controls the um, the color of the text that comes out to the right when it's invalid and when text is required and it wasn't filled in and this is the background color. I'm going to change this. I'm going to change this to a gray color. And let's keep on going. And this is the color that is in the back of, or that the text field changes to when there is an error. So for right now, um, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to change these. Um, I'm going to change these background colors though. So I'm going to save that just so we can see that happen. There we go. Now we see me click inside of it. It turns gray. So now hopefully you understand where these colors are coming from. Um, and you understand what's going on in the CSS. Um, if you If you do not, then I strongly recommend that you go back in time 
to the tutorials that went over CSS and then you will have a greater understanding for what's going on. Um, now with that out of the way we can move on to spry validation of text fields and after that we will continue on down the list and I will show you how to work with validation for each one of these form items. So now you know how to change the colors and how to change the all of the styles. Uh, with CSS the there's so many options that um, you'll probably have a good time just making this look however you want to make it look. So hopefully, hopefully you enjoy this uh, tutorial enough to keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.